Before bathing became common, people used heavy colognes to mask unwanted odour. Deodorants were first created by chemists in the late 1800s. Today, they range from antiperspirants that use chemicals to reduce perspiration to natural alternatives, like body crystals. Many people apply deodorant at some point during the day, though sadly, not everyone. To make a stick deodorant, workers pour a blend of ingredients into a kettle mixer, then add powdered wax, the main ingredient that holds everything together. They also add silicon for a smooth texture. Steam heats the mix to 75 degrees Celsius, melting the ingredients. A standard recipe for deodorants includes wax, active ingredients that prevent perspiration, dimethicone, a blending agent, silicon, and fragrance to mask odors. Deodorants, like all personal care products, must meet strict quality control standards. Chemists in this factory perform a variety of tests. To make sure the product has the right consistency, the chemist will perform a viscosity test. She stirs a sample at a constant speed, then verifies that the force required is within the accepted range. These containers will dispense the deodorant they're mechanically unscrambled on a rotating platform that sends them spinning into individual pockets. Sensors overhead detect the ones that aren't lining up properly. A blast of air sends them back into the platform to repeat the process. Now that they're all the right side up, they move along to the filling station. There, a system of levers raises them up to align with a filling nozzle that dispenses the mix. A system of rotating wheels keeps the containers moving. One wheel conveys them to the next for filling, then a third wheel leads them out. It's best to fill using hot mix that flows freely. But the deodorant must cool in order to harden. An overhead rake evenly lines up the containers inside a refrigerating tunnel. Once it's full, workers set the cooling system to 14 degrees Celsius. The deodorant will remain here for several hours. Next. Chemists perform a hardness test on a cooled sample of deodorant. A force meter measures the amount of pressure required to crush the sample. It has to be just right. Too hard and the deodorant crumbles without spreading. It must be able to flow smoothly out through this perforated dome that will cover the deodorant. Each container gets one over at the doming station. Again, a system of wheels works together to convey the containers through the station. At the center wheel, cappers overhead lay the perforated dome on top of each container. The containers then move to the next station, where they each receive a strip of adhesive plastic that covers the dome surface a safety seal that protects the deodorant. Back at the doming station, the containers pass through once more as the cappers now snap a plastic cover onto each one. Now they're ready for the final labeling. The containers roll past a plate that lifts off adhesive labels from a continuous strip and applies them. A brush smooths over the labels, and that's the final touch. Now the deodorant is ready for shipping to customers. And these products can roll on no sweat. <laughs>